So on your supplementing on waste factor and dealing with in, uh, insurance companies on waste factor, they're always like, well, the starters are always included in the waste factor. The, um, the ridge cap is always included in the waste factor when it's not, it's, it's an exact mate, it is not included or anything to that matter. How do you overcome all that, you know, the obstacles of that? Have you gone through my training? Uh, just ask Brent about it. <laughs> because he's, he's got access to it. He just never took the time to uh, log on and look at it. So, Rob, what I'm going to give you an answer for is going to be kind of a roundabout answer. So the first thing is, if you actually go through my training, I cover this in, in pretty great detail. And one of my lessons is actually how to get Ridge and Starter. And the answer is, you don't. <laughs> uh, because here's the deal. I'm going to go big picture for you here. When I first got into this business and I started doing supplements myself, I was watching people at my company who had been doing this for several years before me, right? I didn't have any idea. The job that I had done before this was I was selling knives, kitchen knives. <laughs> so I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't know anything about roofing. I didn't know anything about Xactimate, insurance claims. I knew nothing. But I was watching all these contractors at my office arguing on the phone with State Farm and Allstate every day back and forth about Ridge and Starter, OMP, Ice and Water Shield, flashing, stuff like that. And I was like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> and they're like, well, we're trying to supplement these insurance claims, which is basically we're trying to get them to pay for stuff that they refuse to pay for. And I'm like, sounds like you guys are always asking for the same stuff. And they're like, yeah. And I go, sounds like you're always saying the same thing and you're always getting the same answer. Do you ever get it approved? And they're like, well, not very often. And I'm like, okay. So like, what's the deal? And they're like, well, they owe for it. They owe origin starter. It's bullshit. It's not included in the waste. Here's the math, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, so I got to thinking. And Rob, I'm going to ask you a question. If, if State Farm sends you a new estimate, do you care if they add a thousand extra dollars to the claim and it's labeled Ridge and Starter? What if it's just labeled generator and harnesses? Do you give a shit? Depends. <laughs> you shouldn't. We're after the money. Right? Well, I, I get, I, I get that, but that's the thing. I'm being greedy, and I want waste, and I want everything. Well, that's fine, and everybody wants that, like, right? That's not special, but there are battles that are worth fighting in the supplement game, and there's battles that just aren't worth fighting. Do you have a girlfriend or a wife or a boyfriend? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Six girlfriends, that's... two of them are someone else. That's a valid question. Okay. Why would that even matter? <laughs> Do you, well, if you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whoever, a wife or whatever, there are certain things you just don't argue about, right? It's not worth it. Would you agree? Right? So the insurance companies, we could argue tooth and nail about Ridge and Starter on something that they are gung-ho on saying no to, or... We can get more creative with supplement. I, I don't ask for more waste. I, I get that. I, I, you know, you ask for more waste if it's not or whatnot, or I always get it on the back end, or I try to get it on the back end. I'm, I'm going to be like, well, this is what we put on this roof system. I have the starter. I have the ridge, and I can't, I can't do ridge cap with laminate, you know, shingles because it's a total different product. And the reason why we put on starter on the eaves and the rate is because of the fact that it's part of the GAF requirements. But is that working for you? Yeah, yeah. Some t it depends on what insurance company. Okay, so then what's your question? <laughs> yeah, if we get a female desk adjuster, I'm pretty good at that. So if it's working, then what are we talking about? I just want to... I want a grand slam on everything that we're, you know, dealing with. I, I don't, you know, I don't care who it is or whatnot. I want the technical terms and technology or terminology of everything to get it. So here's what you have to accept. And I appreciate that. And I like that you're tenacious, but here's the truth. There is no magic bullet for getting every single line item on every single claim with every single adjuster at every single insurance company, okay? 
Like you're just going to notice, you're going to go, oh, with all state, forget it. We're never going to get this. But Nationwide has no problem. USA will give us that and a bag of chips, right? So my point to you is this. There's not necessarily going to be a golden, I call them the sticky items. There's not going to be a golden bullet for some of these sticky items like Ridge and Starter and OMP and stuff like that. But when you look at my full process that I teach, you really stop giving a shit about waste factor because it's so tiny compared to asking for cornice returns, cornice strips, a generator, supervision hours, ladder jacks, and custom bent aluminum instead of fascia. That supplement is six grand and you were arguing over $500. We don't care, right? So that's what you need to, that's what I really encourage you to go through my course because all of that is. Well, that, that's, that's what I always kind of like today. I had a, a good one with farmers. He's like, well, I'm not going to give you a starter on this. Well, then you're going to give me more waste because this is a hip roof and everything like that. And we need starter. So you need to do that. Well, my waste factor is already at 12% or whatnot. I'm like, this is a hip roof. It needs to be at a 15 or 18. It's even, you know, even on, you know, Eagle view that it's at 18%. Well, we don't go off of Eagle view and all this and Eagle view is a three tab system and everything. I'm like, Eagle view is not a three tab system. Where does it say an Eagle view that it is a three tab system? Well, he just kind of gave me the run runaround and I'm like, you know what? I will give you the terminologies. I will send you every document about GAF and everything. And I'm going to require it all. Do all of that. But one other method that you can try is having your customer send in all that documentation. So here's another thing to remember. The insurance company doesn't owe you jack shit. Why? They don't have a contract with you, right? They have a policy, a contract with their policy holder, the customer. So when you ask them for certain stuff, they'll give you all, they'll give you the runaround. They don't have to straight shoot with you. But when your customer requests certain things in writing, and you're going to find, again, in my program, there's all these letters from the homeowner and they're editable templates. So you can take my language and change it to, to meet whatever it is that you're asking for. Have your customer send in all this documentation and say, can you explain to me in writing why I'm not being indemnified for these things, these incurred losses? And then you could just bill it and then have your customer deal with it on the back end and, and not have your customer deal with it. But you just say, Mrs. Jones, they're giving a shit about this. Just send in this letter. I'm going to put this on the invoice. They'll pay it on the back end. But what I want you to understand is I think some people get this, this misconception or this false hope that like, there's just a way. What's the secret to getting this? There is no such thing, but there's a way to have like, what I consider my program to be is this giant toolkit. It's like an arsenal. You've got grenades, you got bazookas, you got 380s in there, 22s, knives, javelins, okay? And sometimes the javelin is just not the tool for the job. You need a hammer. Then the hammer doesn't work, you need a grenade. So instead of looking for like the one magic tool, because there isn't one, it's, did this work? It's an if this, then that kind of process. Like if this doesn't work, you try this, use this documentation. If this doesn't work, use this literature. If that doesn't work, use this calculator. If this doesn't work, have your customer send this letter. So supplementing is not a straight line. It's like, 